What's up guys, Rare Spark here and I'm coming at you with another episode of Tracy McGrady, My Career. And if you can't tell from the quick little intro video, we are going up against the Houston Rockets. It should be a fun one. Let's see how it goes down as you see my team celebrating their pre-game. I don't really know what that's about, but next, James Harden versus Tracy McGrady. Let's see how this one goes down. We are in the Toyota Center, one of Tracy McGrady's former homes. And uh, we're trying to pull off a win here against the Houston Rockets. So let's see if we can do that and be successful at it. But um, big game for us and one of my first, if not the first game against one of my former teams. I believe I played one of my other teams prior to this. But uh, again, one of my, one of Trace McGrady's former teams. So should be fun going up against James Harden. Fear the beard, as they say. But as you see there, Jeremy Lin doing his little warm-up routine. Uh, this time with, uh, I forget his name, I apologize, but um, yeah, he's doing a little warm-up routine. And, uh, let's go ahead and get ready for this jump ball. Omer Ashik versus Marcin Gortat on the jump, and uh, we end up hopefully winning this one. As you see, the referee throws the ball up in the air in just a moment here, and Marcin Gortat is victorious. And let's go ahead and jump into my first time on the court as you see two minutes left in the first quarter looking to manipulate the defense here as I get inside and get in the lane and get an and one to start off the game against James Harden getting the foul on Marcus Camby though so we're gonna go ahead and go to the line here we are already down six early on and we really need to try and make our way back into this game because we cannot end up losing to this game uh, end up losing to this team if we want to basically try and kind of make our way back up on the Western Conference so as you see Marcus can be getting into the lane here and getting into and one bad foul from Shannon Brown there not sure why he did that but you know I guess maybe he was trying to go for the block but ends up getting called for the foul and now Marcus can has a shot at an and one so we're down eight early on in the first quarter time is winding down at the end of the first I set up Eric Bledsoe for an easy three-pointer and that brings the game back within five so we're working our way back into this one and Eric Blezzo looking like he's got a nice little jumper going on for him in this game. So I'm going to try and feed him a little bit more and maybe get him some three-pointers. But uh, clock winding down here. James Harden trying to do whatever he can to score with the clock winding down. And he finds Aaron Brooks who tries to set it up to Jeremy Lin. But I read the pass. But they throw it right down low to Marcus Camby who gets an easy layup there. And uh, bad defense on our part from our big man. Alex Len. So Eric Bledsoe gets in the lane with the easy screen by me, scores a quick bucket and brings the game back within five. So now we're jumping ahead into the second quarter. Two minutes left in the second. We are down three early on and uh, we're trying to get an open look from downtown. So I'm doing the best I can to try and manipulate the defense. I find an open look, knock it down. Tracy McGrady from downtown to tie the game up and we bring the game back to an even score with 150 left in the second quarter. James Harden trying to go toe for toe with me, pulls a three, gets it to go, and he's doing his little three fingers uh, celebration there. And he has 13 points to start off the game in the second quarter. So he's on fire, which is not good for us at all. Archie Goodwin gets an easy jumper off my screen. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump ahead into the third quarter. Now we're down four. And uh, I see Shannon Brown, but I find Markeith Moore for three. He knocks it down, and we get the game back within one. So we're fighting our way back all this game. I feel like all game we've been down, trying to fight our way back. And, you know, this team is resilient. We're not trying to give up this win. And uh, we're doing whatever we can to fight tooth and nail to beat these Houston Rockets. So James Harden trying to beat me on the offensive end. I'm playing the best defense I can. And uh, James Harden lobs it up. To Terrence Jones who comes down with the slam so nice little setup there from James Harden I did everything I could personally to stop him from scoring but he makes a nice little setup for his teammates so I'm doing whatever I can to manipulate the defense get another and one this time James Harden fouls me and I have a chance to give our team the lead a nice beautiful little behind the back play to score in the bucket and I'm showing that emotion after the and one so a chance here to give us a one point lead let's see if I can pull it off here try and help us win this game get that one to go and we're up one with 50 seconds left in the third quarter so Jeremy Lin bringing the ball up and uh, this time I'm locked on Francisco Garcia I wish I could be guarding a better player but 
you know, I can't leave him open. He's known to have a good three-point shot, and they find Cannon for the three, who misses it. And uh, we get the rebound. Marcingo top brings it down. Again, Lee bringing the ball up. Set me up. Trying to get into the lane up. once again. I do, and I lay it in despite the good defense there from Francisco Garcia. And that brings our lead up to three. But with the time winding down here, five minutes left to go in the fourth. It's tied up. I take a tough three over the defender, and I get it to go. So big bucket there for us. And that gives us a three-point lead in the fourth quarter, which any lead in the fourth quarter is more than welcome for this team. So Marcus can be trying to do whatever he can against Marcin Gortat. Chandler Parsons got Markeith Morris on him. He's not going anywhere. Aaron Brooks looking to find the open man. Eric Bledsoe's hounding him all over. Chandler Parsons gets the ball back. Looks to get into the lane here. Trying to play some good defense on him. He makes a nice little turnaround jumper. And uh, he gets a little layup to go. So he's got 13 points in the game as well. So he's having a pretty good game himself. So him and James Harden are killing us right now in this game. But uh, I'm not guarding them. So I can't really do much about it. So I'm trying to do whatever I can to keep my team in this game. We have a one-point lead. Make that a three-point lead. We bring that lead back up to three after that tough post move and shot. But the game's tied up now with 235 left. But I get another big three. As you see, celebrating that three-pointer. Tough bucket. But they came back, hit another three themselves. And this game was tied up with a minute left. So you know I'm looking to score the ball here. And I'm trying to do whatever I can to secure the victory. I get into the lane. Aaron Brooks, get out of my way. And I score it easily here with that little post move, I guess you could call it. And I just resiliently go into the lane and score. So as you see, I have 15 points in the second half. Big second half for me. And uh, I don't know what happened to James Harden there. His layup just went out of bounds. So, uh... That gives us the ball back with 57 seconds left, and we're feeling good now. We have a chance to secure this victory. We have a two-point lead, and we really need to get a big bucket here. So I'm trying to do whatever I can to find my teammates and secure this win. I've got a defender all over me. I call for a screen. I kick it out to Eric Bledsoe, who I thought had a good look from three. He decides not to take it. I take a tough jumper. It rattles home, and we got a four point lead now 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter big buckets back to back for me or Tracy McGrady rather excuse me and uh, he ends up you know helping us out I challenge Chandler Parsons for that three pointer forcing him to miss it he has to foul me here and the game becomes a free throw contest from here so we have a chance to bring this lead up to five points and six points so if we can do that that makes it a really tough chance for them to come back it makes it a two position game and uh you know we really have a good chance of winning this game so 27 seconds left james harden trying to do whatever he can to keep his team in the game he finds aaron brooks for three who misses a tough three pointer wide open i'm sprinting down court i take a stupid three and i get it to go so this all or nothing basically secures our victory. We have a seven point lead with five seconds left and I'm going for the clutch three pointer. Can I make it? Buckets, baby. 83-73. Who would have thought that this close game would have ended up being a 10 point victory for us? Tied with a minute or so to go. Ends up being a 10 point victory for the Phoenix Suns. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tracy McGrady, My Career. I love bringing it to you guys. I apologize for not having this series up on my channel for a while, but I wanted to bring it back to you guys now, and uh, I look forward to your feedback. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Rare Spark, out. Hey guys, just a reminder, you can check out these two videos on your screen right now. On the left is episode 58 of Spark at the Park, and on the right is the previous video to this series, episode 6 of Tracy McGrady, My Career. Feel free to check those out. See you later, guys.